Hey everyone, welcome back to Sengoku Basara for Sumeragi. Today we're going to be playing through our story mode with Hideaki Kobayakawa here. So let's have a look at him in free mode first. <laughs> so you can see, he really enjoys his food. So Hideaki is a character that was added in Basara 3. He was an NPC boss in Basara 3, and then he became playable in Basara 3 Utage. So he's kind of depicted as being kind of a coward. He's just a regular guy surrounded by all these powerful samurai who are able to do all these incredible otherworldly things. So he's a bit, you know, feels a bit inadequate. The thing about Hideaki is, despite the fact that he's kind of a joke character, he's actually quite important to the plot. So, after Hideyoshi Toyotomi was killed by Ieyasu, the country was kind of divided between the west and the east. Uh, the west with Mitsunari's western army, and the east with Ieyasu's eastern army. And the two were fighting for control. And, like historically, Hideaki was part of Mitsunari's western army, and at the climactic battle, the Battle of Sakigahara, he actually betrays Mitsunari and defects to Ieyasu's side, which also prompts other armies to also defect to Ieyasu's side, which tips the battle in his favor and brings Ieyasu out on top to basically take over the country. In the Basara game series, Hideaki is kind of bullied into joining Mitsunari's army by Yoshitsuku and Motonari, so he's really scared of them because, you know, they're really mean to him and they threaten him to join their side. So in Basara 3, at the end, for the Battle of Sakigahara, depending on which side you're on, most of the battle hinges on Hideaki. So if you're on the eastern side, your job is usually to try to convince him to defect over to your side so that you can win the battle. If you're part of the western side, usually the battle involved either preventing him from defecting or killing him before he was able to defect, which tipped the battle against you. So let's have a look at Hideaki here. So as you can see, he's a pretty happy guy. So his weapon is primarily this hot pot here. You can hear him in the background making his sounds. Now this is his joke weapon. I'm not really exactly sure what it is. I think it's a hat. I think it's a hat. Kind of a strange hat. <laughs> He also has this weapon, which I'm not exactly sure what it is either. Like a fiery hot pot, peacock, hedgehog, bird's nest thing. I guess it kind of looks like a like phoenix feathers in a way. His element is fire, so... Well, because of his hot pot mostly. Let's have a look at his costumes. This is his default. This is his second one. Kind of weird, this one. He looks almost like a clay soldier or doll or something. And this one's a blue costume for him. And then here's his assistant, Tenkai. His regular costume. Second costume. Another one. And this one's kind of a, an interesting one. I'll talk about this in a bit. So, Hideaki, in Basara 3, he was an NPC boss character, and I use the word boss kind of loosely, so on his stage, he basically just runs away from you really scared, and it's not until you take over his bases and you take over his hot pot that suddenly he gets mad and wants to fight you. And then he jumps down and he tries to fight you, but his fighting moves basically just consist of flailing around, falling over, uh, spinning around inside his hot pot, so he doesn't really have any actual attacks. They gave him a lot more in Basara 3 Utage when he became playable. They added a bit more to his repertoire, so he became a bit more deadly. In terms of gameplay, he's a bit hard to control. He's fun to use, but 
He's good for crowd stuff, kind of like Maria, but when it comes to boss fights, not super duper, not super duper great. So his assistant here is Tenkai, and the thing about Tenkai is he was quote unquote introduced in Basara 3. However, he strongly, strongly recommend or <laughs> not recommends. He strongly, strongly resembles a character from Basara 1 and 2. Akechi Mitsuhide. I think he was in... I didn't actually play 1 and 2, so maybe he was only in 2 or something like that. And it's not really officially confirmed that he is Mitsuhide until this game. In Basara 3 it was just highly, 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 highly implied. I mean, they basically... It basically was him, but they didn't actually directly say it. Unless you did, like... I think they might have mentioned it in Oichi's last route to unlock Nobunaga in Basara 3. So, Akechi Mitsuhide here was a retainer of Nobunaga, and he was famous for betraying Nobunaga and basically killing him, or indirectly killing him, which is what he did in the Basara games as well. After he betrayed Nobunaga, he was killed by Hideyoshi's forces. Now, there are some... I'm not really sure if they're conspiracy theories or like speculation or whatnot, but there are like, there's rumors that people said that he actually survived the incident. And so there's this character in Japanese Sengoku history named Tenkai, and he was a monk, and he was basically an attendant to Ieyasu, and he helped support Ieyasu and some of Ieyasu's descendants. And there's speculation that he was actually Akechi Mitsuhide, who survived the incident and basically renamed himself and took up a new life as this Tenkai the Monk. So I think it's kind of neat that they tried to incorporate that into Basara. Now in Basara, Tenkai here is Hideaki's assistant, and he knows Hideaki is a coward. And he basically manipulates Hideaki into doing what he wants by kind of being nice to him and kind of threatening him at the same time. So he's kind of the only one that Hideaki can really depend on, but at the same time he's definitely using him for his own nefarious purposes. And you'll see a little bit of that in the story. Okay, let's uh, give him a try in story mode. Okay, so we're going to play through story mode with Hideaki. I think I'm going to set it to the same difficulty I've been doing for most of these characters, because I think the normal difficulty is a little bit too easy to give a really good showcase of him. I promise you I'll, <laughs> I'll, get, to pl I'll get back to playing some more serious characters later. I know I've been doing like these joke characters with Soren and Hideaki. Maria is... I guess she's kind of a joke-ish character, but... Uh, they're definitely harder to play just because they're gimmicky and I was playing free mode earlier with some of the other like more serious and cool series staple samurai characters and <laughs> I really felt the difference. They're really powerful and really strong and also fun to play. I mean these joke characters are fun to play but they're a little hard to control so it does look very clumsy especially when you're watching me playing through this. Let's give it a try. <laughs> ボク<笑> キングさんは正面からどうぞ。無理だよ、
釜を燃え上がらせてくださいこんな怖そうなとこに僕を待ってよやだよ Okay, so you might also recognize Hideaki's voice as Jun Fukuyama. So, he's pretty good. I really like his voice everywhere that we encounter him. You also notice a lot of characters call him Kingo. That's one of his nicknames, and I believe it comes from like a title that the actual historical figure had in the Sengoku area.、Um, I don't remember what the title is, but basically, you shorten it to Kingo, and that becomes his nickname. Again, I'm gonna turn off the roulette for a bit. Maybe I'll turn it back on later just so that it's a little chaotic and fun and get some extra medals to buy costumes and stuff with. So, we've seen some of these stages before. So, here's Shimazu's, there's Nao Tora's, and there's Hideaki. Or, not Hideaki, I'm Hideaki. That's Yoshiaki. We haven't seen Soren's stage yet, so let's have a look at that. So, you just saw me, if you watched my previous playthrough,、uh, play through Soren's story mode. So, again, Soren is kind of this. Guy who's converted to this religion called Zaibism, which is a parody of Christianity. In this story, he's basically built Zabi Land, which is basically an amusement park to celebrate and spread the word of his religion. Like with most of Soren's stages we've had in the past,、uh, the whole thing kind of revolves around Munishige, his retainer, is going to chase you throughout the arena, and like Tadakatsu, he's Quite powerful, so you, you might not be able to beat him if you're under leveled or playing on a high difficulty, and you're supposed to run away from him so you can get to Soren. So I think we should be able to take him down. Let's have a look at Zabi Land. You can see Hideaki is riding the horse in a very unorthodox method. So what happens is most characters, a lot of characters, have interesting methods of riding the horses to make them kind of、uh, unique. Hideaki, when he gets on a horse, he'll ride on it normally, but then as soon as you start to gallop, He'll fly off the back and start clinging to the horse's tail and basically do this. If you try to attack while on horseback, what he does is he just kind of flails his legs out to each side, which happens to hit people. <laughs> You'll find that's a common, common thing with Hideaki. Poor guy. Okay, so here's Hideaki. You can see he's quite scared, his knees are shaking, he's cowering in fear. You can see he's got a funny walk there. If you run or sprint, he's crying. Poor guy. So, his attacks mostly involve basically just flailing, cowering, apologizing. So, he'll do this. He's lucky he's got a nice big pointy helmet. It really helps when he <laughs> bows an apology, does some damage. So, he's a little hard to control because of that. Even his guard stance, he just kind of cowers under his hot pot. Scuttles around. He's almost like a beetle, I guess. That's kind of his design, I guess. You can see his hot pot kind of grows too. So, one of his gimmicks involves being able to eat food after you do some of his attacks. And then, if you eat more food, he gets powered up and his attacks do more damage and his hot pot grows bigger. I have a special item equipped that makes it so that he'll eat his food of the higher quality and gain like, food buffs faster. So, normally, if you just press triangle, he'll eat some food. And a lot of times it involves eating a carrot and he'll just munch on it. But sometimes he'll pull out like, a lobster and he'll take a bite of the lobster and do the can can. And so, because I have the special item equipped, he'll always do the lobster one, which, as you can see, makes him glow a little bit of red so he does extra damage. So, if I'm running, here's one of his moves where he bows and his hot pot falls off. You can see it. There's a small dent here, but if I eat my lobster, then when he does it, it makes a larger crater. This is another move. 
if someone attacks you while you're doing this, he'll counter by spinning around in his hot pot. I don't really use this move too much. And I have this one. So again, usually he'll end the roll with eating a carrot, unless he's powered up when he'll use the lobster. You can see some little food coming out. Then I have this move. Now this move is kind of his bread and butter. He'll fall over and into his hot pot and he'll just kind of spin around. And, see, without the power up, his hot pot is smaller, doesn't have as much reach. You can also combo right into a lobster after that. And then I can do mid-air attack where he just kind of flips. Or where he just kind of falls into the ground here with a heavy mid-air attack. I think that covers most of his moves for now. Let's have a look at how he plays. Here we go, Hideaki. See on the stage there's also three kind of slots at the top of the screen. One of them's for music, one of them's for... I actually don't know what the other ones are for. <laughs> there's a hammer and there's a book. Basically, every time I take over a base, it's gonna roll one of those slots, and then the random result is going to just slightly affect the final battle with Soren on this stage. So the first one changes the music, and then the other one also, like, they also change which enemies are going to be on the field. So I think there's one where it's like, you just have a bunch of bomb guys, there's another one where there's a bunch of, like, large heavy soldiers, there's another one with a bunch of cannon guys. So it just kind of affects who we're going to fight with Soren. There's a big Ferris wheel up ahead. Oh, I totally forgot to show off his R2 attacks. Let's do that real quick. So his first R2 attack is he just kind of throws up a bunch of food and then you can you hold up a little boat and you can catch the food and then afterwards he'll throw the boat and how much food it has in it will deal different amounts of damage. And I can kind of swing it around. And I can kind of toss it. It's not a really good attack, it's, it's kind of hard to not take damage while you're holding that boat. There's this one too. It's pretty good actually. I'll take out like a little dango skewer, throw it to the ground, it grows really big. You can actually move pretty fast with this thing. And you basically keep going until it stops or you hit something. And when you hit something, then 
the little balls will fall off and go flying. And then his other one. This one's a kind of weird move. I think I need some enemies around. It basically, if I remember correctly, it makes Hideaki hallucinate, and then all the enemies will appear as food, and then you can whack them with like your wooden spoons. And then if you hit enough of them, at the end he gathers them all up in a hot pot and then deals damage, so. Let's take over the base so we can spawn some enemies and I'll show you. So, here. So he'll imagine all the enemies as food. You can whack them with your, your spoons. And as you hit them, you kind of gather some food that floats around you. And then when it ends, he'll create a hot pot, throw them all in, and then deal some damage and hit the ground. It's a kind of a long move, it's not super efficient, but it's funny looking for sure. Look at these Zavis guys, they're like priests with zombie heads and they just create these AoEs of that slow you down. So Munishiki is up here and if I don't go attack him now, when I go to the next base he's gonna chase me, so I'm gonna take him down here. As you can see, he's not wearing his usual outfit. He doesn't seem very into it either. <laughs> he's my bizarre attack. <laughs> Big hot pot attack. Small narrow area, this might be good for taking him down. Ah. Beware my clumsiness, Munishige, I'm gonna take you down with this. Ow. Scuttle away. Ah, gotta get rid of this priest guy. Ah! Then combo right into the lobster. I'm gonna hit the ground. Ow! Got him. Oh, there we go, let's see. Let's see, he's got pretty good AoE with this hot pot, even though it's kind of hard to control.
このザビー野菜で私を満足させる鍋を作ってみなさい<笑>あまり暴れてお腹にすいても知りません。Ah, there's like tiny zombie wind up toys falling from the sky and electrocuting me. Fantastic! I wonder if I can give Tenkai some Basara so we can do a double Basara attack too, that'd be good. There we go. I'll show off Tenkai in the next stage. A little zombie. He even falls over and when he gets on the roller coaster. So from here, you get a good view of Sora and who he's got with him. So he's got a bunch of hammer dudes. So if you don't kill Munishige, then he'll come into your battle with Sora near the end. Oh, look at these guys. That's a really tall zombie cutout. Also pay attention to Sora's death animation. Hopefully I don't knock him down so you can actually see it. Okay, let's take down these guys with our- Ah! Get away from me, sorry! Ah! How come you weren't this strong when I was using you? Oh, I actually got him. Oh no! Where is Soren? Curious. He's dead, and then these little zombie angels come and pick him up. <laughs> in Basara 3, his Soren's first appearance, he actually just spins around and falls over in an unflattering way, but then in Basara 3 Utage, they added that new death animation for him with the angels. I'm getting hungry for some hot pot. Thanks, Hideaki. ですね。流した血も少なくてよかった。勝ったの?僕置き去りの鍋のふりしてただけなのに。下味の金吾さんで油断させて、隠し味の私が好きを突き蹂躙する。敵を騙すには味方からですよ。まさに名人の隠し味
こっちだえもっそういやヒヨシアキシマズモルチカイヤスエンセノリキュー I really don't feel like doing Iyasu stage with Tadakatsu right now. Let's do Yoshiaki, we haven't seen him in a while. Okay, let's try Tenkai out a little bit. You can see he's a kind of unhinged. He's a bit of a killer. Dragging those two scythes around him, he comes to a stop. He kind of falls over, kind of, bends over backwards. So here's his regular attacks. So a lot of his moves involve also draining health from enemies. So if I press this button, he kind of stabs forward, and if he gets someone, he'll drain some of their life. This one's pretty good too. And then if I hold the button down, he'll release these kind of poison ball things. And then enemies, or I think they're like spikes or something like that, actually. When, and then enemies with the spikes take extra damage. Here's his guard stance. He kind of slides. Look at him. He's so flexible. R2 moves. So I think this one. It's like. Depending on how much damage he takes while he's like flailing, then the Scythe Slash afterwards does extra power. I think you can hold it for longer. Oh, there you go. So if I hold the button down, he'll do this. And every time he gets hit during this, it'll power up the power of this move. Oh, it looks like he kind of empowers himself with these floating skulls. And this one. Oh, man. Oh, I'm like powered up now. <laughs> Look at he here. Quite the pair these two make. Oh, I forgot to show off this move too, I think. Oh, okay. yeah. How could I forget this move? So if you hold his attack button down, he'll fall down and rush up, try to run away. His hot pot will get stuck and then you can release it. And he'll go flying. And you can combo into this too, so attack. Okay, let's play with Tank Eye for a bit. Oh, he's, his health is draining <laughs> as I'm using this move. Oh no, I want to switch out of it. Oh, he's gonna die. Oh, there we go. Oh my gosh, he's got like like one health left. Okay, so that attack drains your HP to power you up. That makes sense. It's very on-brand for Tank Guy. I didn't even notice that. <laughs> Slowly dying. Yoshiaki-sama, 
先ほどの御神は敵でございますだよなんと趣味の悪い影武者があんなにも我が輩の超素敵紳士王国に早速攻め込む者が極秘に進めていた人類皆ヒゲ紳士計画が漏れたのかねではただで返すわけにはいきますまいだねその通りこの素晴らしい超絶素敵紳士王国をしつあっとそこの君ではの神と欧州三代ヨシアキズプリファンキャラクターズ I'll definitely do a playthrough of him. He's kind of like another joke character. Maybe I'll let him get away this time. Okay, let's let him run away for a bit. So he's gonna jump on his boat and get away. That guy's still barely hanging on over there. Let's get some health there. Oh, there we go. Oh, there's like no enemies. Look at them all playing dead. That's Yoshiaki's like signature move is play dead. And they do his taunt too, that's pretty funny. Is there a horse around here? Oh, there's a horse. Last longer. Oh gosh, they keep dodging me. I just want to show off. Okay, let's do Hideaki on the horse because I want to show you that. So you can move around on the horse. You can see he. Then if I attack, he just kind of. Swings his legs. Very effective. I feel like I'm playing pinball with Mario. Looks like some guys are on the way to take over my base. Let's take my horse.
Oh, I'm bouncing away from it. They just all dropped dead. <laughs> Eat a snack. Stop it, Hideaki. He already got away. I hear the music fading. It's hard to see him. I mean, he has the boss symbol on him, but then everyone looks the same. They're all dressed like him. ゲンマイちゃんと超上質茶菓子のステキな出会い。我が輩の超誠実回転水茶がついた団子だよ。Try and finish him off with a Basara attack. If you take long enough to kill him, he doesn't do the play dead thing after. There he is. There we go. <laughs> Since I took long enough to kill him, he doesn't do the play dead like he did with Sakon, where he just kind of gets back up. <笑>大丈夫ですよ慈愛にあふれる私の顔が菩薩にでも見えましたかもうやだよ怖いよ手が取り寄り血取りがいいよおやおやしかし最近各地で噂になっていますよ小早川は小粒でもなんとやそうな
let's have a look at our next stage selection. So we can have a duel with Masamune, we have Tsuruhime stage and Kanbei stage. We haven't done Tsuruhime stage. I like how the random dudes, other than the playable characters, their mouths never move when they're talking. I also forgot that I haven't shown Hideaki's taunt yet. <laughs> and Tenkai's. <laughs> okay, so this stage is Tsuhime's. It's kind of like a shrine ship. And so the goal is you want to ring all of these bells. I think there's 10 of them hidden around the stage. If you do, it, I think it weakens her or something like that. There's a couple that are a little bit more tricky to get though. Ran right through it. Notice the stage also doesn't have any bases, it just has like squad commanders, the little the guys with like the titles over their heads appear on the map. I think I remember where most of these spells are, but I know there's a couple that were more annoying. Hey look, it's the rice ball guys again. It's so hard when you miss with Hideyaki's moves because then his flailing around takes up so much extra time. Maybe I should have turned on the roulette mode. Ow. Maybe I should do this. Oh. <laughs> I smacked into the camera. Oh, the carnage I'm wrecking with this. It's a lobster to celebrate. Okay, I'll get all the bells that are like on the ground floor first, and then I'll get some of the hidden ones. I'm 
ミコ様のお告げで前になくした三差しが出てきました間もなくですご神託がもうそこに火は来たさらなる速さで追い詰めた Oh, I think I hit one there, but without meaning to 認めよう我らの未来は我らが選ぶあまたの戦場を切り開く How does that holster spin on her thigh? Because the, the handles would hit her thigh if they pass by, right? Probably not comfortable. Oh my god, she's, she keeps dodging my moves. Here. Let's have some hot pot together, Maguichi. These priests are so annoying. Help me out, Tenka. You'll be better fighting the boss. Ow. Slowing me. Ow. 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 Please, my Basara attack. There's a bunch of enemies in here. I don't wanna. I feel like this confined space is gonna be hard to see the attack. Okay. Let's try it anyways. So you can see it pretty good. Just spam this move, I do that a lot with Tenkai. Okay, there we go. We've gotten rid of most of the guys. Okay, so if I remember, one of these rooms has a bell in it. Maybe one of the upper rooms. And another one has like a, like a catapult thing. <laughs> Literally the last ones I check. I know that one's a catapult. Oh, maybe not. Okay, well that was wrong. <laughs> Looks like you're about to fly out into the ocean. Okay, so there's one there. Stop! No! I always do that. Especially with someone like Hideaki who breaks into a sprint. An uncontrolled sprint so easily. Looks like he's about to be flung into the ocean. I don't 
me ranged attacks. Oh, whoa, don't fall off. Oh, uh, I was trying to jump and attack, but then he fell before. I could jump. So, one thing I don't like about, well, it's not that I don't like it, but I find it's one of the weak points of this game is like, there's some small areas where you need some platforming and it's just not made for it. A little bit more in Bizarre 3 though. Here we go. <laughs> like how when he runs into people, they just kind of fall over. You can see the bells sometimes briefly flash too. When you t when you ring one bell, the other ones on the map flash a bit. Let's see if I can make these jumps. Oh no! Oh. Wanna finish the stage perfectly? No, no, don't fall! No, you! I feel like it'd be easier if I was using a character that didn't. No, I. Because the thing too is to sprint. You either have to like double tap the joystick really fast, or you just like walk for a certain amount of time, and then it'll automatically break into a sprint. So you see, I don't have the room to quickly do the double tap. These guys keep getting in my way. There we go. Get out of my way. Is there even a bell up there? I thought there was. Okay, I know this one down here. Uh, more platforming, my favorite. Ow. Is there anything up here? Oh, okay, so I think there's... Oh, there's one there. What the heck was that? This is probably one of the worst characters to do this stage with. What? me to the other side, where there's a... There we go. I don't have time for you priests. Out of my way. I don't want to attack because I feel like I'm just going to fall. Okay, there we go. Oh, I, didn't, I don't think I did it fast enough. I can still ring them, but... You gotta do it before a certain amount of time passes. Uh, shucks. I okay, got that one. I think I can still do it though. I think you just get an achievement if you do it faster. These guys up here are just kind of hanging out. Oh, I just barely dodged them. I thought I got that one with the... Oh, okay, okay. If you ring all the bells in time, that door opens and then you can ring the last bell. But I didn't do it fast enough, so. Let's just go fight Tsurihime. <laughs> Enough watching me mess around. I'll do it better next time when I'm on a character I'm more familiar with, too. I mean, I really enjoy playing Hideaki for fun, but. 
this guy frustrates me sometimes. So Tsuruhime is the archer of the game. She's actually got some pretty cool moves. The upbeat theme song of hers. Let's just do our double bizarre attack. We wasted enough time here. <laughs> Where's her body? Oh, hey. Real gentleman, he, he Hideaki. I like how you can hear him in the background. <笑>だって。よし、できた。はい、これは天海様に突然こだわり馬しじる。おや、これは珍しい。金吾さんが人へ食を振る舞うと。最近武将としての<笑> に何回だが育てがいのあるものだ。竹中半兵衛。いや。じゃあ。いちいち叫ぶなやかましい。さあ。天下 Okay, so here we're at the splitting point for the different paths. Let's see. So if we do Shikinosuke's stage here, we'll end up doing Hideaki's drama route, the blue route. Then I have a duel with Shimazu. I have a fight between or a fight with Hanbei, Kanbei, and Matabe, or a duel with Hisahide and Kotaro. I kind of want to do Hideaki's normal route, which means doing any stage other than the blue one. Let's give it a try. I don't actually remember this stage. 
Maybe I'll turn on the roulette system for this one. Ah, there we go. Since we started doing that in the last episode anyways.元成君が留守にしていた慈しまだ。落とすのはわけないさ。いい具合に番犬も見つけたしね。ちくしょ。いつまでも小生に構わないでくれ。小生とっくの昔に豊臣軍を抜けてるんだよ。なんで俺様ま
It was used by both Kanbei and Yoshiaki in Bizarre 3, but you can attack this uh, boulder on the back. If I had a double Bizarre attack, I'd probably take it out pretty easily here. Oh, it's got a base on its back too, that's where Kante is standing. So it's like a moving base. It's kind of neat. Ow. Hideaki is not the character to be fighting this thing with. I think I'm supposed to actually jump on. Oh, there we go. Let's so jump on its back and actually take out Kanbei with it, but that's not working. I can't see a thing. Ow. Get up! Get up! We ain't got all day. Ow. Hideaki, Hideaki. Okay, I'm gonna turn on maximum style mode. Just to make this easier and slow down time. Ow. Okay, I fell off. There we go. There's a roulette guy. Okay, you know. oh. Maybe I should have lowered the difficulty. Oh. Katsugu time. So again, he kills everyone in one hit, but he also d dies in one hit. Maybe if I could find Matabe before this runs out. Oh, this gate is blocked. Okay. Oh. Oh, I'm a bomb guy now. Throw the bombs, you can drop bombs, you can spin bombs. He also has a bizarre attack where he just throws like one big bomb on himself. Sometimes you get golden bombs or red bombs. Ow! これ様なら Give me that roulette. Ow, okay. <laughs> Stop stumbling, Tidiaki, please. Cooperate with me. Oh no. Oh! No! I don't want to be converted to Zabism. It's actually kind of a rare outcome, I don't get that one very much. Oh, it's a trap! Oh, so that's Amago Haruhisa. Oh, I can't get out of this cage. What he does is he appears, and then every time you hit him you get some coins. Ow, okay, ow, please! And then he kind of hides in the sand and escapes, which is what he does in Bizarre 3. Yeah, 
and then he'll just keep doing that until he disappears, so you can take advantage of that to get as many coins as possible. What the heck? This cage is sideways! Please help me, Tenkai. I wish I had a double Bizarre attack right about now. Thank you, Tenkai. Oh, there we go, double Bizarre attack. Go away, Matabe. Those cages are so annoying. If I had a stronger character, I think they go down in just a few hits, but Hideaki is not what I would describe as a strong character. <laughs> so I guess I've caged both of them. This guy runs pretty fast for an unnamed bomb foot soldier. Not getting rid of these ninjas that are trapped. Ah, oh, there we go. Oh, there's bomb guys everywhere. So I could be a rolling bomb guy too. How? Get up there. My apologies. There we go. Imagine if people could do that in real life. Roll up into giant wheels. Hapi has a really rocking music theme. His weapon is like a snake sword or whip sword, kind of like Ivy from Soul Calibur. Oh, there's Kanbei in the back. I think Matabe is in the other one. They've been putting time out. Oh, there they are. This attack's actually pretty good, this rolling attack. This one's new for Bizarre 4, so I don't... I'm used to using it. We're new for Bizarre 4 Sumeragi, actually, I think. I need to attack. Help me, Tenkai. Oh no. I haven't gone to a duel yet with Hideaki. I want to show you because he. Hideaki, since he's not really a fighter, he just sits there with his hot pot guarding and just takes it. 
he's one of the hard, one of the easiest characters to duel if you fight him as a NPC. Ow, 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 ow. Ow, 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 please. Can I just hit both of them? Matabe, come closer. You want some hot pot, right? Oh, there we go. <laughs> See, you just kind of sits there taking it. Although when you're playing as him, you can still do the duel. And then the attack at the end, he slides like under the guy's feet. Ow, no, stop grabbing me. <laughs> My camera can't see this. This is a really brutal looking grab by Matabe. I'll show you when I play Matabe. It's unfortunate the camera made it really hard to see what was going on there. Okay, I'm gonna turn on Maximum Style. I always feel like Maximum Style mode is kind of cheating, but... <laughs> There's Hanbei's body. I'm just rolling and fighting on top of it. Come on, Kanbei, please. Stop guarding. Don't make me serve you hot pot. I sure showed him. Have better table manners. Taunt him. ま、ま、ま、こんなの僕の手にかかれば朝飯前の夜食前だよ。<laughs> Alright, so since we're doing our regular ending, we actually get to choose our stages, unlike the drama route. Oh man, all these are kind of unpleasant stages to play with Hideaki. 
So we did this stage with Sora and it's a little annoying. Hideyasu with Hideyoshi. I don't really want to fight Yoshiteru with Hideaki. He is a little bit difficult. So this one's a three-way fight between Nobunaga, Yukimura, and Masumuni. We saw this one on Oichi's route. Let's try doing this one. It's just a boss battle with no stage, so hopefully we'll be okay. <laughs> Sorry, Hideaki, I like you, but kind of uh, being difficult today. serve some hot pot right in the middle. And, like, miss everyone. That's fine. That's fine. Ow, 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 ow. Give some help, Tenkai. I guess I'll just pick on Yukimura since he's by himself. Oh, they're all coming for me now. Oh, there's a fugitive. I, I am. I can't even do anything. Where'd the fugitive go? Did he get away? Oh. Ah. <laughs> I'm just trying to spam this move. I'm not really using his R2 moves because Hideaki's aren't that great. Okay, dodge all my attacks, that's fine. You guys are all professional samurai with powerful, strong moves. I'm just a dude with a hot pot. Oh, he's powered up. That's not good. Hopefully our last stage after this isn't too difficult. Because depending on your choices made in normal mode, they'll make it so the last stage you only have one choice. It can change depending on what you actually did. Gomenasai, please forgive me as I flail about. Let's see if we can save up for a double Basara. Maybe not though, because I'm not using that guy very much. Ow, ow, ow. Okay, let's... Oh, I thought I could do a Basara move right here. This would be great, because they're all cornered. There we go. Cook them all up. Get them, Hideyaki. Eat your vegetables. <laughs> I got two of them. Let's see if we get a third. <laughs> the close up zoom of Hideaki apologizing. I rule Japan now. Me, the guy with hot pot.
あれ僕勝っちゃったよーしそれじゃあ勝利の宴喜びの鍋うんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんそばで。Could have been better, but you know. ハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハ
囲み押し進みながら潰していけ<笑>ごきげんよう覇王さて一体何をかな私を打ち過去の見そみでも果たすつもりかね思い上がるな松永すでに貴様など異物に過ぎぬただ覇王として足利の先兵を打つそれだけよああその通りだ秀吉俺は太鼓なんかじゃない So you can see on this map, there's two bosses running around. There's Hanbei and Kotaro, and they're taking each other's bases. So you can see those bases are changing hands pretty quickly. So he's coming this way.僕がこうして夢を見ていられるうちにこれは個人物だとても大切な生き方なんだ意を踏んでくれるのならば速やかにここを去ってくれ本当に愚かだよ I actually almost got Hanbei here. Oh, he's running away. Ah! Come back. Get back here! I'm not gonna worry about my bases until I get rid of these two bosses, because they're gonna keep doing that. Okay, come on. I thought you were gonna stop and take over my base. Get back here! Ah, yes, I got it. Didn't think that would work. Oh, these stilts guys are attacking me. Come on, take them out. Yes. So Kotaro the ninja, you'll see him running around, he usually works for Hojo Ujimasa in the Basara games, but Hojo Ujimasa is not in this game, so he's working for Matsunaga instead. I'm going to switch to Tenkai to build up some Basara. So the thing about Kotaro too is that he doesn't talk. He doesn't even have a voice actor. He's always silent and his, uh, his uh, dialogue is always just ellipses like dot 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 dot. The only sound he makes is the sound of wind moving. And despite that, you know, having Kotaro not talk and also Tad Tadakatsu doesn't talk, he actually has a bit of quite a bit of personality to him despite that. It's actually a really fun play character to play as. Oh no, I didn't want to grab him. I'm gonna grab you. There we go. How long can I hold that for? Okay, pretty long. So even though he doesn't talk, a lot of his stories in Basara involve, like, comedically misunderstanding his intentions because he doesn't say anything. So like he'll be ordered to go forge an alliance, but then since he doesn't talk, no one knows what he's there for, and they attack him, and they think he's there to invade. And it's not until he like nearly wipes everyone out that they're like, oh, he's here for an alliance. Silly us. Come on, get back here. This one that better not screw me over. Oh! Okay, let's see if I can catch him. If I can get him, I can kill him in one hit. I don't get hit on the way there. Oh no! I almost had him! 
Taking over bases anymore, he's just running. He's fast. Kotaro is one of the faster characters in the game. Now. Hey. I was gonna chase him using my Dango, but he stopped. Ow, stop it. At least he's getting hit too. The first time I did the stage on a character and I was like an underleveled character, it was so hard. When I got to the final boss, I didn't have any healing items left over. Okay, let's start taking over bases. Ow, or get hit. Ow. You know what? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go get them. Actually no, let's play with the roulette. I'll change my mind. If I turn on the roulette, I might as well show show a few more roulette results as I can. If Hideaki could hit the base for me, that would be nice. So the final boss of a creation or normal route ending always plays the theme song of this game, sung by TM Revolution, but it gets automatically removed from the recordings because of copyright, so that's why you're probably wondering why there isn't any epic music playing right now. Pretty cool. Okay, I think I'm done chasing him for now. Oh, no, that's not the attack I wanted. There we go. I'll use this as my method of transportation. So these guys are the big fans. They basically just go directly for your bases. And if they hit the base with their fans, Pretty much take it over in just a couple hits, so... Luckily they're usually marked on the map. Ah, I was in the middle of apologizing, rude. Oh, there we go. That's what we're talking about. Yeah. Rising sun, baby. 
うちの畑で取れた大根気に入ってくれました速やかに降伏せよもはや貴殿らに勝ち目はないぞ様は憂えぬこの世は国の未来怖くねこの軍事いるおかげかお米がなければ何を食べればいいじゃないけれどもどんめんにやるとはないやあ行幸一番俺は無敵一番Actually, oh, I was gonna use Kanatsuka's b a s a r attack, but then I realized I need to save it for the bosses. That'd be stupid. I've shown you it before, it's fine. So, I've talked about Hideyoshi before. He's like a large character, he's a wrestler, he has a lot of grabs. He's actually pretty fun to use. The other character he's fighting, he's a Hide, is a very intimidating character. He uses like a, like a Chinese sword, and he combines it with the use of gunpowder. So he'll toss gunpowder out, and enemies that get coated in gunpowder then will take extra damage. And a lot of his attacks create like sparks of ignition because he uses fire. So if you're covered in gunpowder, you explode and take extra damage. He's really intimidating, actually. His animations are really cool, so I'll probably show them off. Hisahide Matsunaga at a later date. Okay, let's go fight them. So, my plan is as soon as I go in, I'm gonna do my double Basar attack, and that should take them both out. I am glad this last stage was a new one, though. I like showing you guys new stages instead of having duplicate runs. I was gonna go for the Rulat guy, but maybe not. Where are they? Okay, they're pretty close together. These double Sar attacks are deceptively strong because the animation is kind of simple ish and you can't tell how big it is. What? They didn't die? They're both pretty strong, huh? I should have turned on. Oh, I should have turned on maximum style. And then done it. Let's take out Hideyoshi first. He's more annoying. He's so big. Oh, oh, just like. No, no, he's like suplexing me. <laughs> Ow. Ow, get away from me. Oh, please. Ow. Don't cover me in gunpowder, please. I'm just gonna roll around. They can't get me, like, like that, right? Ow. Ah, he's got me. <laughs> Help me out, Tekai. This uh, glowy distorted circle you're seeing that you see occasionally is basically just me telling the computer to help me. You just press this button and they attack whatever's in the circle. The, re the computer's reasonably smart for the computer partners. Don't dodge me. No, no. Hideyoshi's too strong for a duel. He's one of the harder characters to duel. Ah! Ow! He's see he did go away. Oh, I am so low on health. I 
as well do this. There's a big rice container right there. Oh no, oh no, I forgot. If you kill Hideyoshi, Keiji gets mad and he runs in out of nowhere and enters the battle. Because he's old friends with, Hide with Hideyoshi. Oh great. Maybe I can. Can I kill? He's a Hide before Keiji arrives. Oh no, Keiji's right here. Okay, well, I guess I'm taking KG down too. So we haven't seen much of KG yet. He's kind of one of the main characters of Bizarre 2 heroes. He's kind of like a vagrant party dude, hit with the ladies. Oh, I don't actually have to kill him. Okay. Well, I'll just beat him up until the stage ends. うん。調子に乗るだけで取れる天下があるとは。うん。天下も結局この鍋と一緒。武将のみんなも素材はいいんだから争わず、それぞれの持ち味を出せばいいんだよ。こんな風にね。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。